Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to create a Valentine's themed seamless repeating pattern in Canva. Head to canva.com. Once you log in or create an account, head to create a design. This design is going to be a custom size of 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Once you enter in your dimensions, hit create design. If you need some inspo on how to get started creating your seamless repeating pattern, you can look through the templates on Canva. In the search bar, type Valentine's Day. Once those come up, you can get an idea of what you can add to your seamless repeating pattern. So to get started, head to Elements. In the search bar, type Valentine's Day. Head to Graphics and hit See All. Then you would choose whatever elements you want to include in your repeating pattern. I do have another video where I created a Christmas theme seamless repeating pattern. I will link it down in the description below if you'd like to see that video. So I like to scroll through the elements and just pick several different ones that I think I want to use for my design. So usually I'll spread all the elements out to see what I have so far and decide whether or not I'm going to use the ones that I've chosen. Once you have all of your elements, you select them all and make them smaller. Once you have all your elements chosen, now would be the time to change the colors if you decide to. So I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video than I did in the Christmas theme seamless repeating pattern video. I'm going to add a square that's roughly 1500 by 1500 pixels. This will help me in arranging my elements. And the reason for this square is that if you have your elements in the center of your document and it's a little too big, when you try to move it into the four different corners, it's going to overlap the original set of elements. So here I tried to put in that square that I just mentioned, but I think this square was like 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And I arranged my elements within that square. But when I grouped all of my elements together and made a copy and tried to duplicate it and put it in the upper left hand corner, you can see how the elements overlapped. So we don't want that when we're trying to do our seamless repeating pattern. So I tried it again and I put in another square that is sized at 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels and I'm just going to use that to kind of give me a guide on where to keep my elements within. And a Canva tip when you are resizing a shape, if you press and hold shift while dragging on one of the corners, it maintains the proportions. And also what I did with this square this time is I locked it in place. So that way as I'm moving my elements, that square stays put. And so now I'm just rearranging and resizing my elements to fit basically within that square. It is okay if they go outside of the square a little bit. And you can also add text to your seamless repeating pattern. So since this is a Valentine's theme, I'm going to put be my valentine. So a tip or a suggestion when making your seamless repeating pattern. For me, I feel like I need to focus more so on this initial arrangement of the elements. As far as like making the spacing in between the elements a little bit more tighter because I feel like that would help once you're creating the pattern. It'll just end up looking better in the long run. Not to say that these patterns look bad, it's just I would prefer less space in between the original arrangement of the elements. Once you have all of your elements arranged, I typically like to duplicate the page, just in case I have to go back to the original pattern block. And once you have all of those elements arranged, you can unlock the square and delete it. 
select all of your elements and group them. So when I grouped all of my elements, it created a rotated square, as you can see. So in order for this pattern to work properly, I'll have to rotate the square. At the bottom of the square is a rotate icon. Click and drag and rotate until it's zero degrees. After you've rotated the grouped elements, you want to make sure that it's centered within the document. Once you've grouped all of your elements, you're going to copy and paste. Take that copy and move it to the upper left corner of the page. You want to make sure that the horizontal and vertical pink lines on the edge of the document show up. Then you're going to repeat this process to the other three corners. Copy the original grouped elements, paste, move to the upper right hand corner, the lower left hand corner, the lower right hand corner. So once you have those four corners placed, you are going to see some spaces that need to be filled in. So usually what I'll do is I'll go to that second page that I originally duplicated and grab the elements from there. I will copy the ones that I need and paste them into page one and arrange them to fill the empty gaps. So another tip, while you're adding in these elements to fill up the empty space, select all of the elements that were originally grouped, the center group and the four corners. Select those all and lock them. So that way, as you're adding in these extra elements, the original grouped elements don't move. And in order to keep the pattern seamless and repeating, these elements that you're adding in to fill up the blank space, you want to keep them within the document not going off the side of the page. Because if they do go off the side of the page, it would no longer be a repeating pattern. Once you have filled in all of your empty spaces, you have your pattern block. I'll usually duplicate this page in case I have to go back to it for any reason. I'm showing you here that you can change the background of your pattern. After you have your completed pattern block, it's time to download. Head to Share, Download, save it as a PNG, and download. So once you've downloaded it as a PNG, you're going to upload it back into Canva. And now we're going to test the seamless repeating pattern. Add your uploaded PNG to your document. Put it to the upper left corner and resize it to 1500 by 1500. Copy and paste and put into the other three corners. So as you can see, we have our seamless repeating pattern. I have noticed when I put in the PNG that I downloaded back into Canva and put the four copies next to each other, sometimes there's a faint white line and sometimes that'll go away if you zoom in and out of the document. But the best way to test to make sure that there is no white line and that it's indeed a seamless repeating pattern would be to download the page with the four copies on it and just open the file on your computer just to make sure that the pattern actually works. And so that's what I did with this one. Once I downloaded the page with the four copies on it and opened it on my computer, there was no white line. So this is a seamless repeating pattern. So this concludes the video to the Valentine's themed seamless repeating pattern. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I do. I will link the Christmas themed seamless repeating pattern video in the description below. 
So there is another way to create a seamless repeating pattern in Canva. And if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments and I will do one for you. Featuring the same Valentine's theme. So this is the first one that I made, which is featured in this video. And here's the second pattern that I did doing that alternate method of creating a seamless repeating pattern. So even though these patterns were both made with the same elements, the second one actually looks a little bit more fuller. So if you want me to upload that alternate way of creating a seamless repeating pattern, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.